Hi, my name is Lauren Tell, and I'm here to share the vision for analytics in your ministry. I currently sit as an analyst on uh, the Growth Solutions team with Adobe Analytics, and there's a lot of reasons for implementing analytics in your website or app, but I wanted to talk about five specific purposes and ways that your team might find useful. Number one, analytics is useful in that it helps you understand your user behavior. This is important because it helps you identify features that perhaps some users aren't using that might not be helpful for them. Um, or on the other hand, it can help confirm that features are being used as you expected. And it also helps to gain a better understanding uh, between what people say and between what they actually do. So what people say, we cannot necessarily tell through analytics. This is often done through user research where you can you know, interview people, find out what they're thinking and feeling, what some of their motivations are, but what they actually do, we can track their behavior through analytics. So we can see what users are doing on your site, what links they're clicking, um, where they're going, if they're scrolling, all those types of things. Number two, analytics helps you measure product progress. So this is really dependent on the goals that you set for your website or app, um, and this will vary every product should have its own very specific goals and core metrics that you're measuring. So ideally, we would like to track all of these core metrics within Adobe Analytics. Um, we can, even if they're very custom or specific, we still track them so that you can set goals for these and see progress over time. Um, we also use this for tracking our OKRs. So OKRs that are product specific will track within Adobe Analytics. Number three, analytics helps to prove whether your product ideas work. Um, out of all the ideas out there, how do you know which, which works, which should be implemented? So ideally, if you can run an A-B test, have a couple different tests for different ideas, different tweaks, whether it's for what screens look like or different buttons, um, different usability tests or feature tests, then you can compare results to help make your design decisions in, based on the data that's shown. Um, while ideally this would be done for everything, it is difficult to do for every single feature or every single release that you have. And so um, we just recommend especially that this is done especially for features with high traffic volume or designs that might change user behavior as a whole on your site or app. Number four, analytics help to inform product decisions um, any decisions that you make, um, analytics, we can you can ask those questions and hopefully we can provide some type of data for you and analytics to help make data-driven data decisions. Um, and this is because sometimes the dating can, data can be surprising even if you're very familiar with your users. Um, how they behave might not always align with that. And so using data to inform your product decisions can be helpful for your product in the long run. Number five, analytics helps to inspire new product work, new features that you might have. You can, you or someone on your team can explore the data to help find product opportunities. And studying that data can really provide insights that lead to new breakthrough ideas. So these are some of the five reasons uh, why we recommend using analytics for your site or app and kind of what the vision as a whole for analytics in digital ministry is specifically related to websites and apps.